Hey, welcome, Mike Wrigley, Certified Default Advocate, Distressed Property Expert, and Short Sales Specialist here. Welcome to our video blog. As default advocates and short sales specialists, we want all homeowners to know their options. Whether you're behind in your payments, possibly facing foreclosure, or maybe you just owe more on your home than what it's worth, we want you to know we're here to help. Today we're talking about the potential tax consequences of a short sale. In a properly executed short sale, in the state of California, the short sale lender cannot seek a deficiency. Because the bank needs to report this loss and can no longer show it as a collectible debt on their books, they report the difference between what they were owed versus what they received as income to you via 1099-C in a short sale or a 1099-A in a foreclosure. This is reported to the IRS as income. If you owed $300,000, and the bank received $150,000, the remaining $150,000 is reported as income to you, which, if not handled properly, can trigger as much as a $40,000 or $50,000 tax bill. And let's say, let's say this, is the IRS doesn't give up. The good news is, is under the Mortgage Debt Relief Act of 2007, which by the way currently expires December 31st, 2012, most owners will be able to avoid paying income taxes on that phantom income. There are several circumstances, including insolvency, which trigger the tax avoidance. In most cases, homeowners will be able to avoid paying the tax. Because this is so important, you truly should consult a tax professional. Also keep in mind, the income tax issue is triggered on a foreclosure as well as a short sale. If you're losing your home, it's not something you're going to avoid. As certified default advocates, it's important for us that you understand all your options. For a free consultation, please contact my office at the number below. Call me today. Sleep better tonight. You'll be glad you did. I'll see you soon.